the soul, um, I heard of a few years ago, great way to get the kids to not only do research, but think outside the box with research-based uh, ideas. Self-organized learning environment. And that's where the kids can get together and they can choose their own group, which is um, empowering for them. The essential question has to be research-based question um, where they can have that, uh, that, that data to back it up. And it's got to be, you know, it's related to your lesson topic, of course, your, your objective, what you want to learn. You've got to have the internet, you've got to have some link up to where you can get out and do some research. One-to-one um, -one devices are helpful, computers are great. And as an educator, you've got to have an open mind too, because you've got to have that uh, ability to, to be flexible with it, to um, go from that whole group instruction, being the lecturer up there, you've got to have that open mind to let the kids go and uh, do their own research too, and bring that into the, into the picture. One that we've been working recently with is what does research say um, about how teams are motivated and why? So I had my class go out and take their devices and they researched uh, team motivation. And when teenagers learn from their mistakes, they will possibly know what's wrong and what's right to do. And that fail failure will possibly make them learn from their motivation to get a better education. Well, apparently uh, having a reason for why you need to do it uh, helps, or it, it adds a level in, of importance and it gives them more motivation to as well. It opens things up so much for them because they can bring in that research that they've looked um, that they found and then uh, put it into their, their format that they have. I'm not up there lecturing and telling them, uh, spoon feeding them the information. They're going out and using their own creativity and their own uh, curiosity. Uh, the curriculum that I was given when I first came on board over here at Crossroads, um, they were packets and workbooks where the kids um, would, we would do a page or a page or two a day. We'd discuss it in class. What happened to the packets? Where'd they go? I quit printing them because they were too expensive. <laughs> Just kidding. No, the packets I still have, and I still have the workbooks to to guide us through the curriculum. But I take that uh, the ideas and the lesson objectives from those, and we do it all electronically on our one to one devices. Well, I like the fact that it's more. It gives you a lot more choice, and you can customize it the way you like it. You can, you know. Plus, it's a lot more convenient doing it digitally. I, I like the tablet so much. It helps, especially at home, because I can get my stuff done faster.